morning this will be just a quick overview of the uh, HP ZBook uh, 14 excuse me 17 I'm doing a quick burn-in test just to kind of go over um, its specs and its performance doing this with each laptop we had a uh, group of um, Lenovo uh, laptops that we had a problem with that uh, couldn't pass a simple burn-in test they would crash and overheat and and just weren't very reliable so with each laptop before I send it out I get the uh, user to remote into it configure it how they want it to be configured and then I'm doing a burn-in test with their configuration so hopefully when I get it out to them I know that it will be a reliable machine um, so I started up now these uh, if you see my other videos um, these ebook 17's don't have a the higher end graphics card that the ZBook 15 did. Uh, we aren't um, a huge graphics shop, so you know we need it just to be able to run multiple VMs and multiple monitors. So we do have a dedicated video card for that, but we don't do gaming or or even a lot of CAD. We all we do do uh, software that allows you to view CAD. Uh, we don't actually create you know CAD drawings things like that. So uh, we uh, don't don't need a super uh, heavy graphics card. Now one thing, um, well, I'll just go over, uh, I'm using, uh, for all these tests, I'm using uh, uh, Furmark um, for the video. I'm using Intel burn-in test for the CPU. I think these are reliable uh, applications to uh, get this, uh, this burn-in test completed. Uh, I am running the CPU at 100%. Uh, uh, it's a four core uh, with hyperthread, so it's eight cores. And burn it has just about finished. Oh, it just popped up. I'll go ahead and hit OK on that. Now I think the cooling on the uh, 17 inch is significantly better than the cooling on the uh, 15 inch. Now, again, it does not have as powerful a graphics card on the 15 inch. I was able to average um, 7 frames per second. Um, on this, I'm averaging uh, 6. Uh, excuse me. On the 15 inch, yeah, I was averaging 9 frames per second. On the 15, this I'm averaging 6. So, that is fair, a fairly big difference. Um, again, you know, this is uh, running the graphics card pretty hard. So, you know, lots of different uh, stuff going on. With the um, uh, Dell 4800, I had an AMD card. This is a, uh, an NVIDIA Quattro. Um, I had uh, the AMD on the, 48, uh, yeah, on the 4800. Um, it's the only AMD available, and it actually was running at uh, 13 to 14 frames per second. So, um, I, I wish I could get these in the AMD. Uh, video card, I prefer AMD, but that's just personal preference. Um, but as far as temperatures go, um, the 15 got up to over 80 degrees with the same burn-in test um, on the GPU. This got up to 49 uh, and just stayed there. You know, even after um, I put in the CPU burn-in test, since they use the same. A cooling solution it never you can see it never got above the 49 degrees the Lenovo 540 that I tested got up to 85 and crashed I haven't been able to crash the HP's yet with all the tests I've done I've run multiple VMs on it unfortunately I can't show you that because of proprietary software um, but you know I've run multiple VMs I've uh, had it probably our biggest problem is uh, that I run into is that uh, our end users will run a bunch of VMs, have a bunch of other stuff, and then they let the computer sleep, and then they power back on. I'm going to stop the video because five frames per second kind of makes me a little <laughs> queasy. But um, they uh, they run multiple VMs. They put the computer to sleep. They wake it up. They put it to sleep. They wake it up. They put it to sleep. They wake it up. They put it to sleep. They wake it up. They put it to sleep. So that uh, you know, after a while, I'm not a huge fan of sleep. I much prefer if I'm done using a computer, just turn it off. Uh, but 
you know, when you're going for presentation to presentation, uh, or if you're at home, because uh, our remote users work from home, um, they set up their uh, VMs and then take the computer in to run their demonstrations, and uh, they uh, are, have to present them. And when you have to boot up, uh, you know, four VMs plus the computer, you're basically booting up five different computers all at once, and that takes <laughs> quite a bit of time. And when you're, uh, you know, in a limited uh, um, environment of time, then you know you can't uh, wait for those all to boot up. That just takes too much time. So they sleep, and I haven't had any problems with that um, after multiple sleeps and reboots. Um, that could change after time. You know, it is Windows, but these seem to be definitely a lot more reliable. One question, two questions actually I was asked uh, about the uh, computer. Somebody asked about um, screen bleeding. I assume that means the light bleeding from around the sides. I purposely turned off my lights. That's why this video is, is so dark um, other than the laptop screen as I wanted to show. I don't see any bleeding around the edge of the screen. They also asked me about the keyboard. It is backlit and they asked about the evenness of the backlighting. Um, it's not perfect. Uh, obviously, smaller keys have a little bit more room around them, and um, they, uh, you know, you can tell where some of the bright spots are, uh, but for the most part, it's pretty even. Uh, it's not perfectly dark in here. Um, my main light is motion sensitive, so it, I can't turn it off, which is kind of annoying, but that's a different issue. But it's pretty pretty even, real nice, especially in the dark or at night or if you're giving a presentation to be able to type on your screen. The other thing I was asked about was the speakers. I don't have anything that I could comfortably play and then put this up on YouTube since they're so strict about any kind of audio um, you know, copyrights. Um, I find the speakers to be acceptable. It's not a multimedia. I don't expect to be watching um, movies on this all the time and you know, having my whole family sit around the laptop and watch the movies. It's a work computer. Um, we don't run any software that has sound. All of our stuff is, you know, for document viewing and so, you know, you just don't have the real need for, or for a good speaker set. If you did, go with a multimedia, not a workstation in my opinion, or get a separate set of speakers, but uh, or a gaming laptop. Gaming laptops tend to have uh, pretty good speakers. This isn't a gaming laptop. It's a, it's a work computer, and that's what we've configured it for. So to me, the speakers are acceptable. They're not great. They're okay. So um, plus, I play them, but again, uh, copyright infringement as well as um, I didn't want to, uh, I, I didn't know how it turned out going from laptop to phone to being encoded and then put up on, on the internet. So, you know, even if they sounded great, how would they really sound by the time you got to listen to it? So if you have any other questions, feel free to ask. I'll be more than happy to do my best to answer them. Again, the tests I use on all these um, is Furmark and the Intel burn, it, burn test. Um, they seem to be a pretty good, reliable um, test on, uh, on these. So. Uh, if you have any questions, again, feel free to ask, and I hope you have a great day. Thank you.